So my friends, how to create JSON files with Java? There are many libraries out there. To name some of them is Jackson, Google JSON, and we will use JSON symbol. This library is small in size, very easy to learn, powerful, but Jackson is a lot of faster, way faster when you have a big JSON file. So I will go here in Eclipse. Here it is a code that will explain you. And right here it is a JSON file we will make. But before that, let's go here. I will show you a magic trick. So you want to download a jar file. If you are not using Ma Maven or uh, Ant or Eevee or um, another build system, Grandl, you go here, jar down. Uh, load you will have not to do it because I will upload it on github so you go here and we want JSON symbol right look in many tutorials you will find JSON symbol 1.1.1 this is depreciated don't use it so we are using JSON symbol 2.1.2 after you have downloaded it Let's go in Eclipse. I have configured the project. You know how to do it. New Java project, you know, you create a folder or you do whatever you want and you add it in the libraries like build path, configure, add jars from the project. You will find it into your project. Apply close. This is recording. Yep. Okay. So let's go on our code right now. You see this file here? I'm deleting it. So we have our main method. We have our constructor here and I'm calling the method create JSON. Right? Right. I will open a little bit the library here. No, this is Java library. We need this. Here it is a JSON symbol, what it contains. You see, it is very small in size and these are depreciated uh, classes from uh, the um, version 1.1.1 that's why i said you don't use that version you see they will be removed in the next version so what we have to do firstly is define the name of the file then secondly we need to create the root what is the root here you remember every json file starts and end with a brackets because it is a big object right so we are creating that big big object we need here to add two key values the name and it has the value alexander look here the specification the key and the value i will delete this code until here click save to show you how it works so what I need after I add the object, I need to write them to a file. So I'm using a file writer and I'm using file.write. Look here, I'm using JSONer, which is a special class here, to pretty format uh, that JSON object. And then I'm flashing it because it is saved in the RAM of the computer. So I flash it on the hard drive or SSD whatever media it has the computer so it is written let's run it you see here i will close it it has created our json file you see key and value name and last name so next step we will create an array which is named toys which will create no no, I will show you something more simple here. We will create uh, an array containing the name of my fake children, which I don't have. So what we have to do is creating a JSON array object. Observe here carefully. In the constructor, I'm giving an, a list with the name of my children. And then I'm putting it inside the big object. And then you know what happens. I'm writing it. I say the name of the array will be children, right? And then I run it. 
Okay. Okay, I have not saved it, so I run it again. All right. So here it is our array. Children, we have Sophie, we have Nick, and we have John. Hopefully, I may have those children in future. So I will again press Control Z. We now will create. Let's go here. Let's go here, my bros. So what we have done is we have created array now you can see here in the tutorials and now we will create a nested array so it is an array which will not contain values but it will contain objects with key and values right you can continue doing it more nesting and more nesting all right I think this uh, th in this tutorial it is enough to catch the logic and go deeper. So I'm creating two objects and I'm adding them inside the array, the toy one and toy B. Then I'm adding the toys array inside the JSON. Okay, the big object of the JSON. And then you know what happens. I'm clicking uh, Control S or Control Shift S for all the files. You have to know the shortcuts because you become faster. Okay, so I'm uh, running it, and here we are. So I have two toys, which are objects, and the toy A has um, color yellow, and the color uh, the toy B has color white. You may say me why you say that colors uh, okay okay it is not so good here we can name it uh, here uh, toy a color and uh, toy b color and we can run it okay better but don't believe me let's validate this json file so we go here on the internet and I have already done it before, you know, I'm changing the before the tutorial. So validate JSON. It is right. I think that I'm missing something here. Those objects can have a name here. Yep. How we can do that? What this is? This is an object which has as a value another object you catched it it is let's go here so if we want to name it toy a how much time i'm recording toy a we have here in the code to do so we want toy a and here we want color you catched it and here we want okay it says me that uh, i am it's not valid okay i will i will check it bros so i think this is this is simple to understand all right and in the next tutorial i will show you how to read now this file it's valid which is a little bit more trickier all right so i will finish it right here